as I get older, the, the maturing aspect that I learn is that, that work and life, that work and life family balance. And to me, it's one of the most interesting things to think about because you wonder, because if you love what you do for a living, it's not really work, but you're away a lot because you're filming movies and traveling. I was wondering, was there a moment in your career where you kind of hit a crossroad of, I'm working too much, I need to step back and spend more time with my family. Was, that, was there ever a moment or a film you were working on or an era of your career that, where that crossroads happened? I'm kind of embarrassed to say I, I, I haven't had that. Hmm. Uh, usually the family uh, has, has participated. A lot of them seem to want to go in a similar direction. And so uh, it seems to work out that you can sometimes have hmm. both. Hmm. Uh, but I, I do, uh, I, I, as, as you get to my age now, I think I feel more interested in the family aspect as I do as a younger person. Hmm. As a younger person, you're a little more selfish in your, your career. And as Diane could tell you, or any actor, they, it's, it's such an odd profession because it's feast or famine. You know, there's a lot of famine, and when you're in the famine thing, you're so glad to be working at anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, then when fi you finally mm -hmm. get to the point where you can choose what you do, then it's like a, a it's like ecstasy. That's amazing. Not quite, but it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I do love about you as a filmmaker, and correct me if I'm wrong, you, you, you do very minimal amount of takes. I believe one or two takes, if I'm, if I'm correct on that. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. It depends on what it's, what it's called for. Okay. If, uh, if I've done uh, a lot of takes, but usually if it's some, something is going wrong technically or the actor's having problems or something. And, but, uh, but, you know, if, if I, I sort of pride myself on the casting aspect. If you... If you cast it right and you get people in the right mood and, and you don't you know, make a lot of racket and get everybody upset, uh, you uh, f find that people work well together and uh, the, the, a lot of it takes care of itself. But there's no real rule on how much, but I'm trying for it on the first take. Yeah. And I love the fact that, that to, see, to see an actor run it over his or her brain uh, for the first time, oh. I, always, I found that really exciting. Yeah, and I want to ask you about that aspect in, the, in regards to like trying to get it done on the first take and, and, that, and that pressure you feel as an actress, if that is even a pressure aspect. And also going into these scenes that are deeply emotional. I mean, I felt every aspect of your chemistry in this movie, I just rooting for you guys and, as, as, a, as a couple. Um, but I wanted to ask you about that when you leave the day and you have an emotional scene like you may have in this film. Does, is it easy to shake off? Can you go home and just kind of go back to your normal self and easier number of takes? Um, it, it's heaven for me um, uh, because, of course, his reputation precedes him. And when it turned out that he really was interested in the first take, because most huh. directors, I don't even think they'd look at it, you know, huh. or except to go on to the second take. Um, but uh, a, a director who knows what he wants doesn't need a lot of takes. Mm. I mean, it, unless something does go wrong. And um, with working with Clint, he's surrounded by people who've been with him, you know, for 20 years or 30 years, and things, it's just like silk off a spool. Mm. I mean, and it was wonderful, because you, you're not bombarded with um, extraneous, I don't know, I guess some directors uh, have a lot of fear of actors. Hmm. I don't know, but because he's an actor, there's no, there's an understanding and a compassion and a gentleness, and he knows exactly what to say, and um, he improvs, which to me is a sign of real knowledge hmm. about the film. That's amazing. Now, as we sit here, I'm, I, I love your sequences with Bradley Cooper. I think he's one of the greatest actors of our generation. Uh, as a director who directed him on American Sniper, and then now you see his film, A Star is Born, uh, as somebody who directed him, and this is his first feature film, what were your thoughts on what he created and, and what he did with that film? Well, I think he's, uh, I was very proud of that, what, actually, what he, do, uh, he had done there. He, was, uh, he had a, a, a vision of how he wanted to shoot it. And he had he was totally responsible for casting a singer rather than a professional actor, I mean, oh. though. And she turned out to be brilliant. And he, he did. I mean, every, these decisions were all his. Sometimes against the, the advice of other people. Um, 
I, Bradley uh, was a, working with on Sniper was a great experience, and um, and he uh, I had seen him before in pictures, but had never uh, actually worked with him. But that was a great experience, and this was great. It was great seeing him uh, step up and do it because most actors secretly want to direct at least try it once. Yeah. Some of them try it once and can't stand the idea, and others uh, go on mm -hmm. with it and do do quite well. So it just depends. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for the time today. It was an absolute honor to sit across okay. both of you. Thank you for talking to me. Well, thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you for making movies.